so it's just like email here. I'm using the Vodafone group are in the uh, servers as my social network servers. And I just log in. And it's like if you had a webmail client to read your emails, for example. Here I'm using a social web client to read my social web activities. And I see friends who have been doing stuff. So uh, Alice, Allard, and also my stuff in the stream. And these people don't have to be members of the Vodafone social uh, server, if you want. They're all across the web. Um, so how do you then get this information from another person on another social network? Well, just look at Alice here. I want to look at her profile. And if I just request it, you will see that Alice is on a different server. She's on the betavine.net server, but still I can get her profile, get her activities. So when I do the request in my client, my server is going to negotiate with the betavine server to obtain that information. And of course, this is all seamless uh, for the end user. And, and just say you would like to share something with a person on another social network. How would that work? Well, let me show you how it works if I'm Alice. I'm going to log in here. And Alice can share status updates, but also uh, pictures, videos. So this is really like all the, the stuff you see on all these uh, networks out there. So I'm just going to put a status message. And in real time, that message is going to be pushed to all the people who are following Alice wherever they are. So. I'm on the Vodafone server and I get Alice message in real time and you see also that I'm informed that Alice is currently uh, online. So um, this works in what we call a federated way. Okay, um, looks cool so far. Um, I think we will call it a day for now. Uh, if you would like to get more information uh, on this whole project, Maybe you could go to uh, OneTouchWeb.org and we have plenty of information there or if you want to get in touch, we are looking forward to some interesting discussions. Thanks. Thank you.